Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Nepal today and he visited the Janakpur uh, city where he started his two-day state visit on the invitation of Nepalese Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli. He has visited the Janki temple in Janakpur. Earlier, Prime Minister Modi noted that uh, Janakpur and Muktinath were vibrant centers of pilgrimage and tourism. And he also said that it's a testimony to the strong cultural ties between India and Nepal. Uh, there you see on your screens, Prime Minister being greeted by his Nepalese counterparts there. Joining us live is our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddharth Sibyl, joining us live from the Janakpur in Nepal. Good morning, Siddharth. Uh, you see the live, up live updates coming out from the Prime Minister being greeted warmly by his Nepalese counterparts. Well, uh, yes, good morning, Jessica from Kathmandu. The focus uh, on this big uh, third visit of the Indian Prime Minister, you can see those visuals of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Nepal's uh, Prime Minister also uh, at uh, Janak uh, Puri at the Janki Devi Temple, that uh, historic temple, and both the Prime Ministers will be jointly inaugurating a bus service that connects uh, both the cities, uh, Janakpur, uh, with uh, Ayodhya, birthplaces of Devi Sita and Lord Ram. And now you can see the Prime Minister and uh, the Prime Minister of Nepal uh, entering uh, the main area of uh, the temple, the Santum Centorum of uh, the temple. And of course, this temple is popularly uh, known as uh, a 9 lakh temple. And the cost of uh, the construction was almost at the same amount. Uh, and those visuals on your television, his first stop in Janakpur where the Prime Minister landed like uh, 20 minutes ago and now uh, two hours he will be in Janakpur where he will be going to the temple uh, where he has already started his important uh, visit and then he will be addressing public gathering there uh, talking about India-Nepal uh, uh, India ties. Uh, about their increased engagement, how people-to-people -people relationship have sustained this important uh, relationship. Nepal is the most important uh, bilateral engagement, uh, bilateral relationship in entire South Asia, uh, a friend forever, uh, an ally, uh, food and family relationship, as many would like to say, is uh, the situation. Uh, uh, the Tarai region, of course, uh, has a lot of Indian origin people. That uh, is also a key point. This entire area, Janakpur, where uh, the Prime Minister of India and the Prime Minister of Nepal is, is a Madesi-dominated region. It's in the Tarai region. Tarai region, the Prime Minister of Nepal wants to build as the agriculture uh, uh, land of uh, Nepal because it has a lot of fertile ground and that is why both the Prime Minister are soon going to announce the first agriculture minister's meet that is going to take place. He's, the Prime Minister of Nepal is only going to stay for two hours but a lot of things are happening. Uh, people obviously will be more than keen to know what the Prime Minister says uh, in uh, Nepal uh, uh, during this his first public facilitation. A public facilitation will also take place in Kathmandu on Saturday, that will be his last engagement in the two-day visit to Nepal. It's a hectic schedule, two-day visit. He is going to visit three cities, Janakpur, Kathmandu and Muktinath and focus on uh, how faith diplomacy uh, is going to uh, take place uh, because in every city where the Prime Minister of India goes, he will be visiting a temple. He will be uh, doing puja and uh, that uh, shows the commonalities and uh, common thing between India and Nepal. Now you can see the Prime Minister uh, uh, of India at uh, the Janki Devi Temple. It's, it's a really a big building. It has uh, Mughal architecture and the local architecture influences and uh, uh, it's built of course uh, in white uh, uh, structure. Uh, the Prime Minister is going to stay for approximately uh, half an hour in this uh, temple and he will be leaving this temple and going to an area which is nearby where he is going to address the people of Nepal 
and uh, discuss how uh, the people of Nepal and people of India are the bedrock of this relationship between India and Nepal. India and Nepal, the government to government uh, relationship might go up, might go down, but it's the people to people contact that are sustaining this relationship. If you go around Kathmandu, you don't have to be specifically speaking Nepali. They understand Hindi as well. So that is the uh, close relationship between India and Nepal. A lot of people from Nepal come to India and uh, uh, get a lot of uh, employment. A lot of Indian people are here in Nepal, but increasingly the shadow of China is something that worries India and uh, if you go around uh, Kathmandu, this increased Chinese presence, the signboards are in Chinese, the, the you can even get a SIM card, the television channels, if you look at the television channels, uh, they also come in Chinese. So that is something that worries uh, uh, India, but uh, right now what is playing on the screen is faith diplomacy. We know Prime Minister's hug diplomacy, so this is the faith diplomacy because of the commonality uh, between India and Nepal, specifically on the religion front uh, and, and uh, those visuals on your screen uh, speaks a lot uh, as they say pictures speak a thousand words and that is what uh, the, the, the Indian side will be focusing on. Right, Siddhant, and also talking about uh, Prime Minister Modi's neighborhood first policy, and he also said that the shadow of China seems to be looming large out there, and this is, in fact, a good chance for Prime Minister Modi to strengthen ties between uh, Nepal and India. Well, the neighborhood first policy is uh, the main important policy of the government of India. The foreign policy it forms a crucial pillar of uh, the foreign policy of government of India. There are other policies as well. Uh, uh, it links uh, act east or whether it's uh, towards the west. But the central part, the core of the Indian foreign policy is neighborhood first. Remember, India was the first responder when Nepal was struck by the earthquake, a massive earthquake. Uh, uh, within six hours, India's relief and rescue mission had arrived in this country. The Nepal is still recovering from uh, that uh, earthquake. Uh, if you go around Nepal, the tourists are still not at that level, pre-2015 level. That is what Nepal wants to uh, increase in its engagement. Uh, and this uh, tourism circuit, this this tourism circuit will increase in uh, uh, increase in tourist flow from India to Nepal. And Prime Minister Modi, there you see inside that temple with uh, his Nepalese counterpart offering prayers. This is an important and historic visit. He is at inside the temple in Janakpur right now. Prime Minister also often describes it as a, a vibrant center of pilgrimage and tourism in Nepal. He is inside the a temple in uh, Janakpur, the Janki temple. Uh, he is he can be seen offering prayers. Then this uh, visit, in fact, uh, is a very important visit, as many have highlighted. But Prime Minister Modi calls uh, uh, that both Janakpur and Muktinath, in fact, are vibrant centers of pilgrimage and tourism. And you visited them, too. So tell us a little bit more about it. 
Well, it's faith diplomacy on your screens right now. The Prime Minister playing at Jajan Ki Devi Temple, a historic temple, and uh, this is the temple of Devi Sita, uh, who, of course, uh, is uh, the wife of Lord Ram. And today, both the cities will be connected. It is symbolic uh, for both the countries, India and Nepal, because the, both the countries now formally get connected through through these two cities also uh, and uh, this forms a part of uh, the Ramayana circuit this will increase the tourist flow from India to Nepal a lot of Indian tourists uh, come to Nepal just for pilgrimage we were yesterday at the Pashupati Nath temple a lot of uh, uh, Indian tourists were also there uh, 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 from various places just to come uh, for uh, the pilgrimage, uh, Pashupati Nath is an important uh, uh, place because it's one of the Char Dhams and a lot of uh, Hindu pilgrims from India come to Pashupati Nath. Uh, even Mukti Nath for that matter is important not only for Hindus but for the Buddhists. Uh, we can expect a Buddhist circuit uh, soon that will be linking not only Nepal and India but Sri Lanka also. So these new circuits not only will help in the common linkages uh, being developed but also on the religious circuits being developed because the religion forms uh, important factor in the peop in the lives of the people of South Asia and that is why what you are seeing on your screens is important because this is faith diplomacy underway uh, in Nepal by the Indian Prime Minister a new way of diplomacy we know that the indian prime minister has been engaging in a new format of diplomacy through various countries whenever there are other other leaders coming in india uh, he specifically takes them to various cities outside uh, of delhi to showcase that uh, is important for their own countries also so that they can help in development of those cities like for example Singapore. Singapore is helping India in developing of smart cities so there is a convergence between uh, the foreign policy and the domestic needs of India that is what the Indian Prime Minister is focusing on and this is uh, also a part of that uh, the common thing between India and Nepal being played out between uh, by the Indian Prime Minister, Indian Prime Minister uh, right now listening to to what the priest at the temple had to uh, ha have to say about uh, of course uh, the temple and uh, other things uh, we can only second guess what they are saying right now but obviously this is uh, something very important a symbolic measure right now being being taken by the indian prime minister uh, at the janki devi temple a historic temple in uh, in in the Madhes region of uh, Nepal now of course that uh, cap being worn by the Indian Prime Minister in front of on your screens well there you see Prime Minister being given that tilak the red uh, in fact a small uh, Well, there you go, Prime Minister exiting now the uh, John Key Devi Temple. And so that's it, still with us uh, here, Siddhant. Uh, what, are, uh, what is the Prime Minister's plan after this and where is he headed to? Well, after this, uh, the Indian Prime Minister is going to address a public gathering where he will be, uh, the, uh, will be addressing the people of Nepal 
from uh, that place from janakpur uh, we can expect a lot of uh, important especially focus on faith diplomacy because that is what we can expect in this two day uh, visit of the indian prime minister of course it's jam packed uh, with lot of things happening but uh, it obviously focuses on the common things between india and nepal the the religion playing a major factor uh, in india and uh, uh, nepal relationship a lot of pilgrims from india go to nepal and uh, that is what will we can see ex- we can expect that to increase with the building of infrastructure with the flagging of uh, the bus service between uh, india and nepal uh, b- connecting the birth places of devi sita and lord ram historic obviously symbolic and something that means a lot for the people of nepal and india people of nepal and india being connected through this uh, this bus to this infrastructure development project through this circuit uh, already the prime minister of uh, of india has given three c's cooperation connectivity and culture so today connectivity and culture is uh, that important factor right now uh, being focused uh, in uh, this uh, this uh, this small stoppage in janakpur but obviously sending a big message for the people of uh, india and nepal right now the prime minister of india being escorted uh, uh, along with the other priest uh, across the janki devi uh, temple this temple heart of the city of uh, janakpur and focus uh, as i have told you on faith diplomacy next stop will be uh, kathmandu only two things are going to happen place uh, will happen in janakpur that is uh, the uh, the temple visit and the public gathering then of course comes the kathmandu where diplomacy will take the lead role and uh, other than diplomacy the visit to pashupatinath temple will be the big focus second visit by the indian prime minister to pashupatinath he also came to pashupatinath uh, in his first uh, a uh, visit uh, where he went to the important uh, pilgrimage site uh, one of the char dhams of the hindu religion and uh, then of course muktinath comes uh, which of course is important for both buddhist and hindu so a focus on faith diplomacy but other things will also take a lead like infrastructure uh, whether it's connectivity connectivity through not only railways or waterways but other ways last uh, uh, month when the prime minister of nepal visited Uh, india his first foreign visit after taking charge the birbal rexall in- integrated check post was inaugurated through a video conference that will smooth the trade between india and nepal nepal has been telling that uh, trade deficit is an important issue because uh, uh, it's it's a contentious issue uh, of course uh, because a lot of trade deficit from nepalese side is there and nepal of course is worried about that we saw the trade secretaries of nepal and india meeting uh, and uh, discussing this uh, issue that will be of course discussed in uh, this important visit but what right now is being played on the screens uh, for our viewers across the world is faith diplomacy focus on faith how faith can uh, help bring these two countries nepal and india together how can faith help in increasing engagement between nepal and india how that can strength uh, can, can strengthen india nepal ties uh, whether kathmandu delhi might not be having best of relationship but it's the people to people contact people to people relationship that is driving this important relationship nepal is the most important bilateral india has in the south asian region prime minister narendra modi's third visit to nepal is also uh, uh, an important manifestation of relationship between india and nepal Uh, and nepal is the only country in south asia uh, uh, where the prime minister of nepal has been two three times and this high level uh, visit is a tradition between india and nepal and every time uh, the uh, a, 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 a nepal gets a new prime minister uh, as a tradition nepal's prime minister visits india first his uh, first choice of destination is india and this visit uh, a follow up visit just coming in a matter of one uh, month and remember when the first time the prime minister of india visited uh, nepal prime minister narendra modi visited nepal it was an ice breaking visit primarily because it's after decades that any indian prime minister chose to visit nepal and since then it has been a normal process three times it's it's unprecedented because usually doesn't happen for us of a state leader to visit a country so many times so this shows how uh, delhi considers uh, kathmandu as a clo- close partner a friend 
uh, all and all were the friend uh, uh, with uh, uh, with Kathmandu and Delhi and this visit will only strengthen the engagement between both the countries and this visit's main focus is on faith diplomacy which right now is uh, underway uh, and on your screen is that only uh, the the visuals from that important temple in the south of Nepal in southern Nepal the Janki uh, Devi uh, temple which will be today connected with Ayodhya so people of Ayodhya can freely travel to uh, Janki Devi temple in Janakpur in Nepal and people from Janakpur can travel to Ayodhya this will increase more uh, tourists in flow more more pilgrims coming to both the sides uh, and will be part of the Ramayana circuit, the big Ramayana circuit. This is out of the box thinking from the Indian policy maker side also because this is development of faith and, and uh, the Prime Minister of India leveraging diplomacy and faith. So clearly uh, the mission, uh, mission neighborhood, uh, neighborhood first policy has taken a new hue with this uh, important visit, this important visit taking place which started just few hours ago and uh, this of course will take place for two days right now the first event has started where the indian prime minister is going around that temple the janki devi mandir in janakpuri nepal And there you see uh, Prime Minister stepping out of uh, the Janki Temple there, offering prayers, even playing those religious instruments. Siddhant Sipal continues to stay with us. Siddhant, uh, this in fact highlights uh, and gives us a fact, an understanding of the fact that this trip comes with, in, uh, with ingredients of success. Well, this is an important visit. I've already mentioned you on uh, those visuals which we saw just a few minutes ago of Prime Minister just praying at that temple. That visual will be something that will be uh, the pictures uh, that will be remembered when this trip will be long over uh, maybe months or maybe years after and Prime Minister waving his hand uh, at the people there at the temple. Important visuals because visuals have played an important part in the Indian Prime Minister's diplomacy throughout the region. Remember his first uh, visit whether it's to Bhutan or whether it's to Japan uh, when he was playing those uh, uh, flutes. So those visuals are still being remembered fondly by by people from the both sides and these visuals play in building a relationship that uh, that outlasts many things many negative thing also so this is this basically praying is faith diplomacy underway right now on your screens and this faith diplomacy will go a long way in strengthening the ties between india and nepal Absolutely, expectations high on uh, the agenda set for this particular bilateral meeting between the two leaders.